taking a damp sponge by Real Techniques and I'm using a cream foundation by Cover FX in the shade N30. First, I want to even out my skin tone. So I'm going to apply a foundation closest to the natural shade of my skin. This is important so it covers any imperfections, redness, or dark spots. But I don't want a very heavy application, so I'm really working the foundation into the skin. To share down cream foundations, I use a sponge wet but wrung out very well. And also, I start with one side of the face so I can really concentrate on an even application. I'm working the product into the sponge and I'm again just concentrating on evening out my skin tone, not worrying about any imperfections at this point. I just want an even base. To prevent the foundation from settling in any fine lines or creasing, I use the least amount of product possible and I really concentrate on those areas, working the foundation well into the skin. Once I'm finished with the base, it's time to move on to the next step. I'm taking Becca Complexion Cream in the shade Noisette and a Goss Face Brush in number 12. I chose a shade slightly darker than my skin tone and I'm going to begin buffing the foundation into the skin in a circular motion. An important tip when using a darker shade of foundation is to buff the foundation in all areas of the face and especially the neck area and the decollete area. This way it all matches seamlessly. The secret to a flawless airbrushed foundation is to build the coverage. You want to start with a light application, buffing it into the skin in a circular motion, concentrating on just evening out the skin. I'm using a smaller brush to go to the areas where the larger brush could have missed, like around the nose and underneath the eye, and I'm using a Wayne Gas brush in number 6. The nice thing about this foundation by Becca, it's concentrated enough where I don't need an additional concealer. Last and final step, I'm taking the leftover foundation on the mirror and I'm going to pounce that over any areas that I feel I need extra coverage. When covering the remaining imperfections, you want to tap the foundation into the skin you do not want to rub because rubbing will disturb the foundation already applied.
is the end result. Thank you for watching and I will see you again soon.